Hello and welcome to this episode of Complicated Things Explained so that everyone can understand them. In this episode, I will explain what an unlocked two-way radio is. And unlike all of those other less desirable YouTubers, I will explain it all without trying to impress you with the use of big words or technical jargon. And most importantly, I will not bore you to death. However, if I do accidentally bore you to death, please ask a loved one to push your corpse away from your computer or remove your phone from your cold, dead hands and then tell them to leave a comment to inform me of your untimely demise. And I promise that I will do better the next time that you watch one of my videos. As a newcomer to the exciting and dynamic world of two-way radios, you may have heard the term unlocked being bantied around by the radio experts. Likewise, you may have heard frightening fairy tales about what will happen if you are caught while using an unlocked two-way radio. So you may be wondering, what is an unlocked radio and how can I make such an unlocking for my radio? Allow me to explain. Most two-way radios are locked into transmitting on only certain frequencies. For example, this Boofwang ham radio can only transmit on the ham frequencies and this Boofwang GMRS radio can only transmit on GMRS channels. Just as a side note, some people often refer to this type of radio as cheap Chinese radios or CCR for short. But this is a very racist and moolah-phobic term that should never be used. And I will delete any comments containing this slur. Anyone leaving five or more comments using this hateful slur will be permanently banned from my channel and they will no longer be able to watch any of my videos. Both of these radios can listen to either ham or GMRS and even other frequencies, but they can only transmit on whatever frequencies the sticker says they transmit on. And the reason that most radios are locked into transmitting only on certain frequencies is because our overlords at the FCC's says so. So do not question it, just trust the science. When we do the math, these restrictions mean that if one wishes to transmit on both GMRS and ham radio channels or frequencies, one must have two radios. One radio to transmit on GMRS channels and another radio to transmit on the ham frequencies. Even though technically each of these radios is fully capable of transmitting on either range of frequencies. But when those radios are locked, the software inside the radios prevents them from doing so. And the math proves that this is why unlocking a radio may be desirable to many people because having to purchase and carry around one radio is better than having to purchase and carry around two radios. However, I should point out that walking around at the mall with two radios attached to your belt is a much better way to impress the chicks. Back in the olden days, to unlock a radio, radio dorks would do what they referred to as a Mars mod on their radio to allow them to transmit on more frequencies. However, this method required that you be a serious radio dork. But verily I say unto you, in this modern era in which we live, many radios can be unlocked by simply pressing a magical combination of buttons on the keypad, much like a cheat code, or by connecting the radio to a computer and using a high-tech program, such as the free Chirp software. The exact method of unlocking a radio varies depending upon the radio itself, but unlocking a radio is generally not a difficult task. However, it should be noted that not all radios can be unlocked. As a matter of fact, most GMRS radios and many ham radios cannot be unlocked no matter how hard you try or 
no matter how smart you think you are. Allow me to recap in case you are not following along thus far. Unlocking a two-way radio allows the radio to transmit on more frequencies than it is supposed to transmit on. Now let us take a moment to reflect upon the dark side of unlocking a two-way radio. Some people will become very, very angry when you inform them that you are transmitting on ham radio frequencies while using an unlocked radio. And the reason that I said when you inform them is because there is no way for anyone to tell that you are transmitting on an unlocked radio. Some people will even go so far as to make up fairy tales and tell stories that you will get a huge fine or go to jail if you transmit using an unlocked radio on ham frequencies. But paradoxically, those very same people will have absolutely no problem whatsoever bragging about their Mars modded unlocked ham radio transmitting on GMRS frequencies, which breaks just as many FCC rules. And the reason for this hypocritical attitude is that some people are idiots and just need to be ignored. And just to be clear, and for additional deconfoculation, it violates no FCC rules to unlock a ham or GMRS radio, nor does it violate any rules to own or be in possession of an unlocked ham or GMRS radio. However, it is true that transmitting on an unlocked GMRS or ham radio outside of its intended frequency range does usually violate FCC guidelines. But you should also be aware that based upon the FCC's public record of enforcement of these rules, the FCC does not seem to care. No matter how many fairy tales some people tell you, to the contrary. Another even more important fact that applies to unlocked ham radios, such as this Boofwang UV5R ham radio, is that even though an unlocked radio can transmit on GMRS frequencies, this does not make it a GMRS radio. Allow me to disconfoculate what I just said. A real GMRS radio has all of the GMRS channels, repeater channels, GMRS rules, and so on and so such built into the radio. This is what makes a GMRS radio so simple to use. An unlocked ham radio, on the other hand, has none of that. This means that unless you actually know what you are doing, you may become over confoculated when trying to use an unlocked ham radio on the GMRS channels. Congratulations, you are now a YouTube certified unlocked radio expert.